They're there again next morning. But I'm so preoccupied with finding my way around Leningrad that they don't get much change out of me. Not even a kopeck. Sasha has agreed to give me the Lenin City Tour. We meet outside the Finland station, where he returned from exile to organize the revolution. And 30 April 1917. April 1917, when you came back. Yes. There were many, many peoples. They all gathered. Yes. And he said this. A revolution, the need for which Bolsheviks said it was constantly happening. Among the great man's most enthusiastic supporters were the sailors on board the cruiser Aurora. The Aurora survives almost exactly where she was in October 1917 when a single shot was fired from this cannon. It may well have been a mistake, but it was just what the Bolsheviks had been waiting for. Cut to the Winter Palace. So they heard the gun from the Aurora, the yes. sailors and the army. Yes. Yes. They yes. come across the square yes. and these yes. are the gates they, they stormed. Yeah. Short of giving them all door keys, they couldn't have made it much easier. The gates are a fine example of a Baroque climbing frame. A great moment for you. What, one of many. What a year for you. Yeah. What a year. They, they look easy gates to climb. Yeah. You know, quickly, 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 mm. quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Over here, I see there's a branch of John Lewis. What's that doing there? I leave Lenin to savor his triumphs and head further back into history to 1703, when Peter the Great ordered a swamp to be turned into this grand European city. Composers and writers used these canals for inspiration. Disgruntled aristocrats used them for drowning Rasputin. Uh-oh, these people have obviously been tipped off that there's a Michael Palin impersonator in town. We pass on under Nevsky Prospect, the street that has always been the heart of this city's life.